You really thought you could just speak for all of us there. <laughs> I'm gonna need a whole another two hours to explain all the reasons why you're wrong. <laughs> I, I don't want it. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs>Candyman. Candyman. Candyman's Candyman. actually on my list as well. Hell yeah. New DeCosta is going to be directing Marvels also. So, um, like Marvel announced that. So, I feel like that's going to be. The good... director of Candyman? Yeah. Oh, that's so great. So, um, really, I'm even more interested now in Candyman. Especially because they've been hired off the back of a movie that hasn't even come out yeah, yet. They must be very confident back. in it. They've yeah, just sent them a little Vimeo back link. Being like, watch <laughs> that. You're going to want to hire me. Trust me. You know, if, if Nia da Costa wants to send me a Vimeo to Candyman, I'd be so happy Open to receive it. That. One never share links. Drop the link. Oh, no. You've got to just forward it to me after, please. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> share it with you. Clarice, what Come are you looking forward to? Um, the two that come to my head is Annette, the Leos Carex musical with Adam Driver and Mario Cotillard. Cause the trailer looks, just came out recently and it looks so weird. It looks so weird. Yeah. <laughs> and that's really, really up my street. What I see in her is obvious. What she sees in me is... Mm, it's a little more puzzling. <laughs> Also Dune. I just uh, oh, yeah. I just want to see oh, what Dune's yeah. like. Yeah. I'm not even sure I'm gonna like it. I just really would like to. I don't know that if David Lynch can't do it, really, Denis. Uh, <laughs> they're, yeah. They're like, I feel like it's quite <laughs> arrogant to be like, I'm better than David Lynch. But I. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Look, David Lynch is great. David Lynch is great. But Denis Villeneuve has a delicacy in sci-fi that I think can't be. T I mean, he did a better Blade Runner film. Than, than Ridley Scott. Um, what? Excuse it's, me. Yep. Okay. I'm 2049 gonna, is better than the original. I'm not going to wow, address that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to need a whole another two hours to Bring explain all the reasons but why you're wrong. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, no, I should say I I adore him as a filmmaker yeah. and and I think he's the best shot we've got. But also, like, if David Lynch can't do it, that feels like a wording from the past <laughs> of him going, don't do it, buddy. But I'm just, I'm excited. I I'm mean, excited the trait that's actually... It. Before Tenet, they showed the teaser for the trailer for Dune. So I haven't actually seen the full... I've tried to avoid it to watch the full trailer for Dune. But the teaser for the trailer, like, I could feel it vibrating in my chest. I was, like, so emotional watching even that 30-second version of it. So I can't imagine what the full-scale thing is going to do to me. And Eternals, just, you know... Chloe Zhao. Killing it. Thank you for this. Oh, you're welcome. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone... Who do you think's gonna lead the Avengers? I could lead them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for Mainstream, the film that Andrew Garfield is doing, which yes, is about an influencer. Yes, that looks bizarre. I'm no one special. Cut. That was great. Again, it looks mental and i love the fact that he is just doing weird movies he's just you know i i didn't particularly enjoy under the silver lake but i love that he went out there to do like i'm gonna just do a weird one is it gia coppola it is well? gia coppola yeah, yeah. that's exciting mm -hmm. let's go like you know to some big ones as well i'm very excited to see top gun maverick simply because He's really flying planes now. He's <laughs> flying planes. And cruises back. Are you not as interested, Anna? I'm not as bothered. I just want to see it in IMAX, man. I know, but I said the same thing about Blade Runner 2049, and I was so disappointed by saying that. 
okay, well, you and I are going to have to have a separate conversation, <laughs> clearly. There's going to have to be a separate podcast where you just <laughs> fight shit. out this Blade Runner thing because there's a lot of yeah. <laughs> tension growing. Yeah, clearly. We'll have to do a whole <laughs> separate thing. I also am interested in seeing James Gunn, The Suicide Squad. Yeah, oh, that's yes. definitely on my list as well. Um, yes. I'm excited to see what he does with it so then I can either be like really angry and like scream restore the <laughs> Snyderverse more or be like, hey, James Gunn, did a, he did it good. Because hey. it feels, I mean, obviously everyone knows this now, but the original Suicide Squad clearly wasn't supposed to be what we got to see. And they tried to emulate Guardians of the Galaxy so much that now they've just gone, should we just get the guy who did that and just mm. get him to do that for us? That, and, and I'm like, fine, all right. And it's so weird that they're allowed to just go, we're trying again. Like I even got texts <laughs> from friends who are not as like film literate, who are like, what, is this a sequel? Is this a, what is this? And it's, we are trying again. Like it's literally like a remix. four years later, we're just having another go. But yeah. some of the same characters are in it, but you're not allowed to call it a sequel. Nope. <laughs> It's bizarre. And also there's a large weasel in it. <laughs> Which yeah. I am so for. He's already my favorite character. Like yeah. I'm obviously such a Harley Quinn stare, but I'm, ex I'm excited about whatever weasel is. I'm into a weasel renaissance on the back of that movie. Yes. A lot there's of weasel spin-off, weasel TV series. <laughs> there's also comic. another Matrix movie coming out this year. Is it actually going to come out? I'm Who? Well. Sure. I think it was... It's, they, it's put in December, right? I think it's scheduled for December, as is Spider-Man No Way Home. I don't think The Matrix is going to come out. You don't think Matrix is going to make it? No, but Spider-Man, I'm, I'm there for as well. I, I just want to see what this trilogy is, like the closing chapter of this trilogy is. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to predict that it's going to end with a Miles Morales Spider-Man in the MCU. And Holy Tom shit. Holland goes to the Sony-verse and fights Venom and Venom 3. Oh, you I heard it here that. first. You heard I really it. Don't I don't want, want that. that. I don't want it, but I believe that's going to be the that was the, maybe the. Deal. I just want to hear. Well, I do want to see all the Spider Men together. I also just want to hear Danny Elfman's Spider Man theme in the cinema again. And if I hear that that trickle of 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 the theme, I'm just gonna just squeal. <laughs> I'm just gonna squeal. I'm just gonna, my inner fanboy is just not gonna is not gonna take that cage. She's gonna break out. <laughs> Anna, is there anything else that you're looking forward to? I'm just thinking of indie movies now. Go ahead. I'm excited yeah, no, yeah. about. I am excited ones. about Kelly Reichert's first cow because I've been hearing so much about it and I've also still not seen it. And I'm excited for it to come out. And um, I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I know that I've seen it already, but it's amazing. And I just want to shout out Censor, which is which is also going to come out in the summer. It's just a weird, interesting little horror movie about a censor in the 80s who becomes obsessed with this idea that she sees her long lost sister in one of the films that she is censoring. And it's just so bizarre and plays around with the history of video nasties and horror films and the BBFC. And it's just an, a weird looking, it's kind of very Giallo-esque in some ways mm -hmm. um, and just a stunning central performance as well. I'm very excited about In the Heights because I freaking love musicals. Yes. Uh, and there's a lot of, I, I know I just said Annette, which is also a musical, but this is the year of musicals. And uh, I I love the Broadway show. I love Lionel Man Miranda. Mm -hmm. um, I just, it looks good. It looks ace and it looks like a musical musical. I also, on the note, oh, you know, you, you, I'm, there's a connection that I'm making because you mentioned another musical that Adam Driver is in. The Adam Driver, Lady Gaga, Ridley Scott movie. House of Gucci. House of Gucci. Gucci, yes. Yes. Oh my God, I just want to see that for the outfits. She's and going the to be weirdness. yelling so much and I'm really excited about it. She's going to be up in people's faces. So much, so many sweaters. <laughs> There's going to be so many sweaters in that movie. I'm so pumped for all the sweater action. I think just to bring this to a close, what I am excited about is just being back in the cinema. Like, yes. I have yes. missed it so much. And actually during the awards season, I felt very disconnected from that time where I usually am up to date on everything. I know who's nominated, I know who should be nominated, I know what's been snobbed, like all that stuff. I'm like fully bathing in that culture. And this year I just felt alienated. And, you know, it, not only my own doing, because some films just weren't available in time to watch them before they were being whether or not they were going to win. And now I'm just excited to just go back and be able to know 
what to watch. I just love the whole like thing. You go in with your friends and you get church. the popcorn and the drink and you all sit down and you watch the trailers and you're so excited. And like that that whole thing has been gone for a year and and you know, I've I've watched so many amazing films at home mm-hmm. and like I, I'm I'm not someone who's like, oh you can't you can't see a movie until you see it in the cinema. You know, you can be deeply moved by a film watching it on your laptop screen. Like movies are just that great. But there is something for me about the atmosphere that is so special to me. And I just, I'm probably going to have like a little tiny cry <laughs> the first time I go see in the no cinema. No shame. Absolutely. Also, I think we're all, we're all very excited about Venom, Let There Be Carnage. The chocolate delivery hasn't arrived yet. No! We had a deal. What's going to happen? You're going to stop protecting me? I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. What? Nothing. <laughs> You really thought you could just speak for all of us there. <laughs> I mean, aren't we all excited about Venom Let There Be Carnage? I mean, Is that a lie? If Tom Holland joins the Sonyverse, like, Tom Hardy's gonna wreck him. <laughs> I <laughs> would like to see that. He's not gonna last a second. <laughs> He's got a bunch of words. I don't know. Tom I, Holland I dead. think Tom Holland might have a chance. He's wary. He's probably like. He's quick. Yeah. He's yeah, gonna be quicker Tom than Tom Hardy. Hardy's quick as well. <laughs> And you see him jump into that lobster tank. Gooey, <laughs> talking thing that's apparently oh called Venom. God. And that officially wraps up what we're calling Series 1 of the Screen Test. We hope that you've had as much fun watching and listening to it as we've had making it. Aww, that's a sweet sentiment. And I do mean it, even though that sounded a bit sarcastic at the end. We'll hopefully be back later in the year, fingers crossed, for more episodes to debate which are some of the greatest movies of all time, according to to my opinion <laughs> let us know which episodes you'd like to see in the future by tweeting us at prime video uk we're all on twitter me joe and clarice get in touch let us know what you'd like to see and hopefully we'll be back soon come on fingers crossed fingers 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 <laughs> little paddington 2 reference there just to close out the show that's how we're going out and if that is how we're going out we're going out on a high <laughs> bye-bye